Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to summarize what we've found for slab one. We're going to be looking at the top reinforcing mid span, the top reinforcing at the continuous support, and the top reinforcing at the discontinuous support. So just to remind you of what slab one looks like, it's over here. Uh, we have the mid span values, we're going to have continuous edges and discontinuous edges. So first up is the bottom reinforcing at mid span. Now, the reason it's the bottom reinforcing is that at mid span, at the middle of our um, slab, our slab is going to be bending like this. It's going to be sagging. And if it's sagging, the bottom of the slab is in tension. And that means that the steel reinforcing bars need to be in the bottom layer so they can handle the tension. In the previous videos, we found that the spacing required is N12 or 230 mils. Now, in this case, because we're dealing with a square slab, perfect square, LY equaled LX, LY equaled LX, so it doesn't matter. LY and LX are just a short and long span, but because there's no short or long span, they're both just the same thing. So we have an eight by eight meter span, which means that in both directions, the spacing will be N12s at 230. Okay, so it'll look something like that. The second one we're gonna be doing was the top reinforcing at the continuous support. So if we look back at our slab, the continuous support or the continuous edge is there and there. It continues into the next slabs. So we're going to have reinforcing aligned like this and like this. Uh, this reinforcing is now in the top because at the support it's hogging. So our slab is going to bend like that, which means that the tension is now in the top of the slab, which means that the steel layers need to be in towards the top of the slab. So because again, this is a perfect square, eight by eight meters, the spacing of reinforcing is both at 170 mils and it looks something like that. The last one we're gonna be doing is the top reinforcing at the discontinuous edge. Again, it's top reinforcing because at the discontinuous edge over here, there is a beam supporting it and it would be hogging. So it's gonna be going up like that, which means the top's in tension, which means we need the steel at the top. Again, because LY equals LX, it's eight by eight meters. The spacing between the bars we found to be N12 at 300 millimeters is the exact